Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Poor Man's Chemist. In this video, I am going to be doing a melting point analysis on the experimental benzaldehyde dinitrophenylhydrazone that I obtained from my benzaldehyde prep. Now, I actually filmed this once before yesterday, but for some reason, my reference dinitrophenylhydrazone decomposed. It, like, turned black and shit um, well before the expected melting point of benzaldehyde dinitrophenylhydrazone, which is 239 to 241 C. Um, I have no idea what the problem is there. As JR had mentioned, maybe it was it, it should have been rinsed better, and he's probably right. I noticed that um the filter paper was extremely brittle from where that benzaldehyde standard sample had dried, but not at all from the experimental sample. Not really sure. Um, that happens sometimes with filter paper if it's been sitting in the desiccator for a couple days, but it was a little weird how one was like perfectly intact and one was like trying to pick up ashes um getting a sample scraped off of that was a real bitch so that complication could have caused a problem too but anyway i have plenty of the experimental dinitrophenylhydrazone this is what i was able to obtain here very nice this is just a two milliliter vial actually it's a chromatography vial <laughs> But whatever, it works to store chems. And by the way, to the person who said, hey, you can solve your focusing problem just by holding your hand up and holding the thing like, you know, in front of your hand that you want it to focus on. Dude, you are a god or goddess amongst men. Thank you so fucking much. I don't know how the fuck I never thought to try this trick before, but holy shit, it works great. <laughs> so anyway, here is our handy dandy melting point apparatus right here. Um, uh, you can see this is just the body of the thing. The heating element is right here. We have a thermometer to keep track of it. And here is the little viewport where we can see it. Our sample is... Okay, let's see if his trick works again. Or hers. I don't actually know. Okay, yeah. Damn, man. I love this. This is great. So there we go. There's our sample in a capillary tube that I fused with a lighter. Um, hey, it worked. So we're going to stick that down in here, like so. And come up here. Done this once before and it worked. There it is. I'll come up, I'll get it sighted in here better, but. So you can see there is our sample. Um, so yes, let me get this thing in focus and um, we will time lapse the melting here or just cut to it, whichever. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to show you guys like it melting and the temperature at the same time. You're going to kind of have to take my word for it, which is not really how I like to do things. But um, yeah. Plus this mercury thermometer, man. It, I have to use a magnifying glass to even see the temperature on this shit. Um, thanks, China. So, yeah. <laughs> it's be really difficult to film anyways. So, anyway, without further ado, here we go. All right. We are finally starting to get there after over an hour. We're at 2.12. So we are approaching the melting point, finally. 229. 230. Oh shit, is this really going to work? 231. 232. Come on, baby. Come on, give it up. Okay, wind, you can fuck right off. 223. I'm sorry, 33. Yeah, that's right. This is in twos, not tens. What the fuck am I saying? 234. Fucking wind. 233. 
it dropped the temperature a little bit. 234, I think. God, it is so hard to see the line. Yes, 234. Stay focused. Two thirty five, thirty six, come on, baby, just give me two more degrees C. That's within the margin of error. Come on, come on. 37, 237. Okay, I thought this recorded yesterday, but for some reason the camera didn't work. So that's it, man. I'm calling it. The prep worked. We produced benzaldehyde. The melting point was a little off by like maybe I, I would have felt more comfortable if it was just like one, one and a half degrees higher. But this is a Chinese piece of shit thermometer that I bought off eBay for a couple bucks. All right. If it's off by a few degrees, we're going with it. We got a dinitrophenylhydrazone out of the prep. The melting point is essentially spot on. The prep worked. So, you now have a new method to create benzaldehyde and to <clears throat> oxidize benzylic hydroxyls to ketones while leaving any adjacent secondary amines alone. Just saying, just saying, that's a thing. Should do it in very high, but you know, whatever, whatever. Anywho, actually, it's good for a lot of other things too, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the only other thing it'll do. Um, it'll do, actually, you can do quite a bit with this. So, now you have a new reagent to put in your collection. Something to know about. This purity in silver one permanganate and all of the interesting things it does. So, if you like this project, please consider donating to the lab because chemistry is expensive and I don't have any more dinitrophenylhydrazine. That shit kind of expensive. So, yes, please. Anything you can do is helpful. So, till the next one, you guys. I see you later. It fucking worked. It worked. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. It fucking worked. Ah. I still got it.